So today is March 10th, also known as Mario Day. And we got a lot of interesting news today, so let's jump right in. The most exciting Mario-themed thing that got announced today is that there is going to be a team-up between Nintendo and LEGO to bring us a Mario-themed LEGO. We only got a quick tease of what this is going to be, and it does look a little different than your typical LEGO. It looks like it actually has a screen on it in some way, and it's just different than like getting some minifigures, though something like that could still be on the way. Personally, I'm a big fan of LEGO, and I'd love to get some Mario-themed sets, maybe some minifigures, maybe some uh, Mario LEGO video games. The LEGO video games are always really cool. I like, like, the Star Wars ones and stuff like that, so it'd be cool if we got a Mario one for that. But for now, all we have is this quick tease of what looks to be some sort of Mario LEGO thing that has a screen on it. Over on Twitter, at MonkeyDLenny wrote, I've cracked the code. That LEGO Mario thing is a toy that uses the Switch with the Joy-Con removed as its core. Look at the black bar between the legs. That's the Switch with the Joy-Cons removed. And you can even see a bit of the rail bar there. And if you look closely, it does look like a Switch would fit inside that and might be where that screen is coming from. That would make a lot of sense to me, and it's probably what's going on with this LEGO. We'll have to wait and see if that theory is correct. But now something else happened with this LEGO Mario crossover that has to do with our missing Nintendo Direct. It's been an extremely long time since we've gotten a Nintendo General Direct. Everyone is waiting anxiously for when that might happen. And we had something interesting get said about this LEGO Mario crossover regarding a Nintendo Direct. Over on Twitter, at Dylan Iris wrote, Game UK leaked a Nintendo Direct and they just tried to fix it, LOL. And here is the original Game UK post. It says, Heard about the partnership between LEGO and Nintendo. The latest Nintendo Direct announced their exciting collaboration. The first time that the two big brands have worked together. Details are limited at this stage, but we hope you are as excited as us. So obviously that's wrong. We did not get a Nintendo Direct. But were we supposed to get a Nintendo Direct? Did we have a Direct um, delayed or canceled or something? And this was originally supposed to be announced then and hasn't been? Game UK made an update to this post and said, Heard about the partnership between LEGO and Nintendo. They have announced their exciting collaboration, the first time that the two big brands have worked together. Details are limited at this stage, but Super Mario has been featured on their social channels. We hope you are as excited as us. Removing out any mention of a Nintendo Direct. So obviously this led to a lot of conspiracy theories that potentially there was supposed to be a Nintendo Direct. Maybe it got delayed, maybe it got cancelled, but maybe initially this was supposed to get announced in that Nintendo Direct and Game UK was just ready to post um, that message, that write-up beforehand, and then when a Nintendo Direct didn't happen they forgot to change it or edit that and just posted it, um, you know, still saying the Nintendo Direct part, but now have changed it to, you know, correct themselves since that Nintendo Direct never happened. Since it's been such a long time since we've gotten a Nintendo Direct, a lot of conspiracy theories have already been floating around about the possibility of a Direct being delayed or cancelled or something happening to one that we have a missing Nintendo Direct that was supposed to happen, but it hasn't happened yet. A lot of people have uh, come up with conspiracy theories for why that might be. Zippo was predicting two Directs in the month of February. One was going to be Animal Crossing focused, which he was totally right about even up to the date. And then the other one was supposed to happen just before the end of February, but obviously never did. When Zippo was asked about the conspiracy theory that potentially it was delayed or cancelled or something, Zippo said conspiracy theories are dumb and bad for critical thinking, so Zippo was never on board with the idea of a delayed direct or a cancelled one or anything like that. And now in regards to this Game UK article, ZHugeEX over on Twitter wrote, It's a mistake on their end. There was no cancelled direct. So if you trust ZHugeEX, this was just a write-up mistake and not actually any evidence towards a cancelled or delayed Nintendo Direct. Um, ZHugeEX is saying that that is not the case. There was not a cancelled Direct, there was not a delayed Direct, this was just a mistake on their part the way they wrote it up. I hate to bring it up, but many of these conspiracy theories about a delayed or even cancelled Nintendo Direct stem from the fact that concerns about the coronavirus right now have caused many events to be cancelled, uh, such as PlayStation pulling out of PAX East, and many things not related to gaming at all have simply been cancelled due to concerns about the coronavirus. Obviously, a Nintendo Direct isn't an event that has a lot of people gathering in one spot with those same sort of concerns. However, it does involve having game dates, release dates, things like that, and with warehouses and manufacturing possibly being slowed down or even halted for certain things, it's possible that a Nintendo Direct having certain dates for things and stuff like that might keep getting changed due to these coronavirus concerns, and that might be what's slowing down or delaying a Direct. That's the conspiracy theory anyway. I'm not personally believing that one. Over on my Discord, Deco wrote, uh-oh, and over on Twitter, at Devolver Digital wrote, cancel your E3 flights and hotels, y'all. Also on Twitter, at Futterish wrote, my day started with investigating some E3 stuff, ended with multiple, and I mean multiple, sources coming my way. E3 cancellation announcement scheduled for tomorrow a.m. I don't think it will hold the night. Many of us have been engaged by sources this evening. Cancel your plan. 
So for right now, these are just rumors of E3 getting canceled, but they very well could come to pass. E3 is a big event where a lot of people gather and many events like that are getting canceled left and right due to coronavirus concerns, and that might be what happens here. Okay, so with all those potentially canceled or delayed plans aside, let's talk about something more positive here. We actually may finally know when we'll be getting our Nintendo Direct. VentureBeat.com posted this, March Nintendo Direct in the works with focus on 2020 lineup. The next Nintendo Direct is in the works. The publisher hasn't confirmed the event yet, but it's in the final stages of putting the video presentation together. That's based on what we're hearing as well as some other indicators. Expect a Nintendo Direct soon. The company is penciling in one of its indie showcases, like the one it released around GDC 2019, for next week, likely March 18th. A full general Direct will follow soon after, likely March 26th. Okay, so Jeff Grubb of VentureBeat is reporting that a general Nintendo Direct should be happening March 26th, and also we'll get some sort of indie showcase Direct uh, next week, the week of March 18th. Both Imran Khan and Z Huge have retweeted this VentureBeat article, so this seems to be probably what insiders are in fact hearing about Nintendo's general Direct schedule. So initially, Jeff Grubb was saying that the Nintendo Direct would be next week, but is now saying, updated the story, indie thing next week, Nintendo Direct the week of March 26th. We're going to talk about it right now on the podcast. Banjo and Hero Main pointed out, good call, Sabi, correct about the indie Direct in mid-March, and a general Direct the week after. And if we look a while back, Sabi did say, to please those who don't like my recent teases, yes, there is a Nindies presentation in mid-March. Which is, of course, now lining up with what Jeff Grubb is reporting here. All right, so our long wait may finally be over. We may be getting an Indie Direct next week and then followed by a Nintendo General Direct finally showcasing the 2020 lineup Nintendo has for us this year. And we've been waiting a long time for this, so I hope everybody can wait out just a couple more weeks here and we'll finally see that Nintendo General Direct. I don't know personally when we're going to get a Nintendo General Direct, but I'm very hopeful that this one turns out to be real as we've waited a very long time here. And if we get a Indies Direct next week, obviously that would bode very well for this one coming true. Jeff Grubb also wrote this article about how GameStop has appointed Reggie to the board of directors. GameStop has had some financial difficulties in the last few years here, trying to stay afloat as a game store in this more modern gaming era. So hopefully Reggie can step in and, um, I don't know, change their attitude, change their general demeanor and stuff. Um, I believe Reggie had a really good philosophy towards gaming. I think Reggie really gets gamers, so hopefully his presence at GameStop could keep that store afloat. And finally, a little bit of Smash Bros news. At Smash Bros JP, the Japanese Smash Bros Twitter, has posted there's going to be a Ring Fit event this week. The translation says, for five days from March 13th, Friday, fight with your body. Ring Fit Adventure will be held. Three new spirits will appear, so be sure to check them out. So with all of the characters in our second Fighters Pass already chosen, I believe having this spirit event this late in the game likely knocks Ring Fit out of the running for a possible character candidate. I've seen some people put that on their prediction list, but I think this probably knocks that out. I always thought Ring Fit would make an okay like Wii Fit Trainer Echo, but probably not a full-fledged fighter. All right, well, that's everything I want to talk about in this video. Once again, happy Mario Day, everybody. And I really do hope that we get a Nintendo General Direct the week of March 26th, as we're all starving for one at this point. If you guys have any thoughts or comments about any of the stuff I mentioned in this video, leave them below. So once again, thank you guys for all the subscribes, all the likes, uh, it really helps out the channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so, or like the video, or leave a comment, whatever you want. Uh, until next time, have a good one.